Hello everyone, this is Mustafa from The Code Show, again with another lead code problem. This one is a very popular dynamic programming problem. Its name is Edit it it Distance. Uh, the problem statement is that we have like two strings, world 1 and world 2, and we need to find the minimum number of operation to convert world 1 to world 2. And we have like a three operations only we can do on the world 1 to convert it to world 2. These operations are insert character and delete character and a replace character uh, here we have like horse and we have horse and we have like uh, the minimum number of operation to return to convert host into ROS is uh, only three operations okay so we first thing we will replace H with R after that we will remove the R from horse and then we will remove the E from horse okay so so let's try to uh, take a closer look on this example and let's assume we have like two pointers first pointer on uh, the first world and another pointer also uh, on the first character of the second world so here we have like simple example uh, we have our pointers this one into this one position one and position two we have like the operation we already did and the uh, first thing we would like replace H with R and we have like R O and uh, our, 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 the first pointer now is pointing on O, the second pointer are po is pointing on O also. So we don't need to, um, to do any operation because that the, the two characters are the same. So we will only increment the, the position 1 and position 2. So we have like, uh, here, here we have like R and we have also here S. Okay, so we will delete this R and increment the pointer. Here that point points to S right now. After that, we have like two S here. Here, um, uh, we don't need to do anything. We will just increment the both pointers if we can. So here we incremented this, and we have like E and S. So we will delete the E also, and we have like three operations because we did delete. Here. We did a deletion here, also another deletion, and we did replacement here. To replace R with uh, to replace H with R, and uh, that's it. How we can uh, code these steps into an algorithm? Um, so here, as we usually do, we as we usually do with dynamic programming problems, we do a backtracking. We can start to solve, uh, create a solve uh, function that would be our backtracking function or our recursive function. So let's try with it. So. It will take two argument position number one and position position number two. Okay, and um, let's try now. Uh, think about our base case when we will stop doing this recursion over and over again. Um, I would say we need to stop if any of these of those pointers uh, become uh, like hit the end of. It's port like here. We hit the end of the second word, and here we hit the, uh, the end of the first word. So whenever we have we have any of this position reached the end of its word, that would be like um, a base case, or we need to stop doing the recursion. So here, let's try to do a base case position one is larger or equal the word one. Another base case is position two is larger or equal word two and uh, yeah. So if we read again the example we had, we had uh, we had two s's here, yeah. And uh, at the end, we need to make the two strings equal. So we need we need to delete the remaining part of the first word actually and each character will uh, represent a delete operation so our base case would be the following if we reach it the end of the first word we will return the difference between the second word and its current position and the, the same also for the second word okay so here we need to uh, do something like this we return word to minus its current position 
and we need to do the same thing here then word one minus its composition and that should be it uh, now let's try to think about our recursive case so um, we have like two recursive cases as we see here in example first one if, if the characters are equal okay we will need only to increment if they are not equal we will need to try uh, we need to try to do an operation on the string okay so so if word when of position when not equal or two of position two what we will need to do is <coughs> we need to to solve or try to solve with the replace operation so how we can represent the replace operation is by incrementing the position the two positions of the two words okay so this is the position one and this is the position two plus one and here we have uh, the the operation we did we need to increment the operation counters this one and also we need to try to solve with the insertion operation so the insertion operation will be represented as yeah the insertion operation will be represented as we need to only increment the first position okay and we need to try from the same position on the second word and uh, we also increment the operation counter the last operation is the delete operation and we will need to try to solve from the current position we are we are at in the first word and we need to increment the position to over the second word also we need to increment the operation counter and at the end we need to use mass min to find them which uh, which will return us the minimum operation we need to use we need to return here so this is the first point if word if if, the, if this character are not equal the character from the second word if this if a statement are, is not correct we will need to solve only from the next position so position one plus one and position two plus two we need to return it and that's it we need to return solve we need to solve from zero and zero so that that is that is actually is the recursion part or the backtracking part so actually i think we can try it now Yeah, it works fine. Now we need to add the memoization part. Let's try to make a two D array that will cache the two parameters here. So here we have like for memo, with memo equal new array, and the array length would be like word one length plus one. And we need to fill this array with uh, another arrays. Uh, with the length of word 2 okay so uh, let's do it so we need to for loop we have like for i counter equal 0 and i is less than memo dot length we need to increment the i memo i equal new array means not one I will need to fill every array every position sorry was minus one so we need to use this inside our backtracking part so first thing we need to check if uh, the memo of the current position 
position two also is not equal one is one we need to return its value okay so also here we need to write into the array and also we need to write here in the array and at the end we need to return the value of it like this yeah so this we set the value we return it we also set the value and we return it here and uh, yeah if we found the value of it we will return it so let's try to run this yeah we have like a typo should be then this is a strange word yeah also another typo return at some point yeah we have like a typo another typo here yeah yeah uh, I got the typo I think we forget to add I here it worked works fine let's submit it works fine thanks for watching thank you